everyone. This video is about Ardgillen Castle. If you're watching this video from a Facebook link, you can definitely share it. What will help me most is subscribing to my YouTube channel. The Ardgillen Castle is actually a country home near Scaries and Balbriggan in the northern part of Old County Dublin. It has 194 acres of land. It gets its name from the townland name of Ardgillen which had the meaning of high woods, as this area was heavily wooded. Currently, it's a public park under the Fingal County Commission control. In the 1658 Down Survey, the land was owned by Robert Usher. He was a wine merchant from the west southwest side of Dublin. He sold the land to Robert Taylor in 1737. Robert paid service soldiers one penny a day, a meal, some whiskey, and sleek being accommodations to clear the trees. The main house was built in 1738 and was called Prospect House. It is two stories over a basement. The east and west wings were added in the late 1800s, and his family stayed in this house over 200 years until 1962. In 1982, the county council purchased the land and the house. By 1985, they had opened the land up as a public park. In 1992, the house was open to the public. Even today, you can get guided tours of the ground floor and the kitchens. Other than the house, the park also has some fun places to visit. There's a rose garden, a walled garden. You can see where the old ice house was, a playground, a lot of walking trails and cycling trails. There's even access to the Irish Sea. The rose garden was laid out from an ordnance survey map of 1865. It has many variations of roses. There's even a water fountain here. Previously, there was a Victorian conservatory, also considered a glass house. This one was built in 1880, but it was actually built in Malahide for the Jameson family. It's a replica of one at Balmoral in Scotland. It's the Scottish home of the British family. This one was donated to the county council and they relocated it to Ardgillen Castle in the mid 1990s. Right now it's in the process of being restored so you will not see it on the grounds. The walled garden, originally a Victorian style kitchen garden that would supply fruit, vegetables, and cut flowers to the house. It is just under two and a half acres in size. It was replanted in 1992 with the sections having different themes, such as there's an herb garden, which was actually planted near the wall to attract bees and butterflies. There's a potager, which is home to most of the vegetables. And there's a fruit garden, which includes 30 old Irish varieties of apples, which were planted in 2000. Also on the grounds, there's an old ice house. It's a 19th century ice house, and it was rediscovered in 1985. Ice houses existed before the refrigerator. Ice would be imported into Ireland or gathered from the inland lakes. They would wrap the ice with sawdust and straw and put it into these ice houses, which were stone rooms built underground. An ice house was used to store meat, dairy, wine, and other perishables in a cooler temperature so it would last longer. I don't have video of the ice house, but you can find here on this website, which I'll put the link below, a picture of it. The playground was opened in 2006. It has 30 pieces of play equipment. It's overlooking the Irish Sea and has a theme of a castle and maritime. There's over five miles of footpaths and cycling routes on the grounds. Some of them are out in the open going through the fields. Some of them are through wooded areas. There's also a 26-acre wildflower meadow 
on the far western side of the grounds. This park had concerts in 2005 from Moby, R.E.M., Meatloaf, but they haven't had any concerts here since. In the 1840s, the Dublin to Drogheda rail line was constructed, which crossed over the grounds. The family gave permission to allow the railroad to go through the grounds, which actually cut the property in such a way that you couldn't go from the house to the Irish Sea any longer. So the family asked for a bridge to go over the train tracks and also for the train to stop and allow the family on if they wanted to use it. The area on the ground with the most folklore is the Lady Stairs. As the story goes, in November of 1853, Lady Langford drowned. She was trying to swim in rough seas. There's stories of seeing a female ghost in the area of the bridge and the steps going down to the Irish Sea. This park is a wonderful park for the family. I recommend visiting the park. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel if you like videos like this. Thank you.